This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us for High School Whiz Quiz 2019. I'm your host, Nancy Moeller. We're glad that you can join us because you are going to see four great teams playing tonight. Our first game, Bath versus New Bremen. And a little bit later, you're going to see Ada take on Delphi St. John's. We want to introduce you to our players now. Joining us from Bath High School, we have Vincent Abrams, Natalie Crow, Derek Inskeep, and Jemin Gandhi. And Bath is coached by Daniel Grimm. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to New Bremen. We have Piper Stevens, Cheyenne Bertke, Mitchell Moeller and Will Olberding. And New Bremen is coached by Teresa Newbright. Welcome to all of you as well. Okay, our first round. 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Let's get those buzzers ready. We have our judge sitting over in the corner over there. And uh, we wanna make sure that um, we don't put him to good use. We wanna speak up as loudly as possible and also make sure your answers are as complete as possible. Okay, here we go. Question number one for your game. What is the class of drugs used to treat high cholesterol? Yes, that'd be bath. Class three drugs. That is incorrect. New Bremen, you've got a chance with this one. <coughs> All right, well, hopefully you'll never have to find out, but the answer is statins. All right, moving on. Number two, what date is Veterans Day observed each year? Yes, bath. November 11th. You are correct, November 11th. Question number three. What is formed when water droplets are swept up into storm clouds where they freeze repeatedly before dropping to earth? Yes, that'd be bath. Hail. Hail is the correct answer. All right, moving on to question number four. What is the one-eyed giant of Greek and Roman mythology? Yes, bath. Cyclops. Cyclops is correct. All right, number five, name the drink of the ancient Greek and Roman gods. Bath. Ambrosia. That is correct. All right, question six. What is the city that the first atomic bomb was dropped on? Yes, Bath. Hiroshima. Hiroshima is the correct answer. All right, question number seven in your game. Identify the group of low mountains running through Arkansas and Missouri. New Bremen. Um, <clears throat> the Appalachian Mountains. That is incorrect. So, Bath, you've got a chance to answer this one. Yes. The Rocky Mountains. The Rockies are also incorrect. The Ozarks is what we're looking for. All right, three questions remaining in this first round. <laughs> Give the fencing term meaning a hit or touch. Yes, Beth. Touche. Touche is correct. What letter is the Roman numeral for 50? Beth. C. That is incorrect. New Bremen, do you want to try? All right, time is up. The answer is the letter L. All right, one question remains in this first round. Name the woman whose refusal to give up her bus seat. Yes, that would be Bath. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of round one in this first game between New Bremen and Bath, and here's our score. Bath, you have 70 points. New Bremen, you gotta get on the board yet, but we've got two more rounds to go. We'll be right back. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. 
the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. We are moving into round two of our game between Bath and New Bremen High Schools. Here's our score. Bath, you are leading with 70 points. New Bremen, you have to get on the board yet, but we are moving into this next round. Bath, you have five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours. Get your buzzers ready though, because we do want you to ring in with your answer, okay? All right, name the river that flows through Hades. Yes. The river Styx. Styx is correct. <coughs> Who said, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country, yes, Beth? John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy is the correct answer. Question three in the second round. What has formed when the normally clear lens of the eye becomes cloudy? Yes. A cataract. Cataract is correct. <coughs> All right, number four. Identify the big sea mammal with tusks. Yes. Woolly mammoth. That is incorrect. The answer we're looking for here is walrus. All right, your final question in the second round. Which planet is the fifth planet out from the sun and is two and a half times more massive than all the other planets in the solar system combined? Yes. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. All right. Turning to New Bremen now, it's your turn. We have five questions, five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers. How many rings are on the Olympic flag? Yes. Five. Five is correct. You are on the board. All right. Give the name of the cell formed by the joining of two gametes. Gametes. Yes. A chromosome? That is incorrect. It's a zygote. Okay. In what national park is Old Faithful? Yes. Yellowstone. Yellowstone is correct. All right. Give the name of the Disney character whose nose grows when he tells a lie. Yes. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is correct. And your final question in the second round. On September 14th of 2001, who said, I can hear you, the rest of the world hears you? Yes. George Bush. George Bush is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our second round now and here is the score. New Bremen, you have 20 points. Bath, you have 90. We're moving into our final round. Again, 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Let's get those buzzers ready, and here we go. In what literary series does Lord Voldemort appear? Yes, Bath. The Harry Potter series. Harry Potter is correct. Question number two. What is the longest single river in the United States? Yes, Bath. The Mississippi River. That is incorrect. New Bremen, you've got a chance here with this one. Yes. Uh, the Ohio River. That is also incorrect. It is the Missouri River, 2,341 miles. All right, question number three. June 14th is a U.S. designated holiday celebrating what symbol? Yes, New Bremen. Trees. Trees is incorrect. Bath, you want to try? The flag. The flag is correct. <clears throat> All right, number four. What candy has the slogan, melts in your mouth, not in your hand? Yes, Bath. M&M's. M&M's is correct. Name the instrument used in the French Revolution to chop off heads. Yes, Bath. Guillotine. I'm sorry? A guillotine. Guillotine is correct. All right, number six. What is the disease that compels people to steal things they don't need? Yes, Bath. Kleptomania. Kleptomania is correct. All right, you have four questions remaining in your game. What is added to a public water supply to reduce tooth decay? Yes, Bath. Fluorine. 
That is incorrect. New Bremen, you want to try it? Yes. Calcium. Calcium is also incorrect. What we're looking for here is fluoride. All right. Name the art gallery and museum that is a landmark in Paris. Yes, Beth. The Louvre. The Louvre is the answer. Okay, two questions remaining in your game here. How many strings are on an electric guitar? Yes, New Bremen. Six. Six is the correct answer. And your final question in your game. Name the king of the Huns, the scourge. Yes, that would be Beth. Attila the Hun. Attila is the correct answer. All right. We've come to the end of our first game here between New Bremen and Bath, and here's our final score. New Bremen, you have 30 points. Bath, 160. So congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. New Bremen, thanks for joining us again this year. We'll be back with our second game right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. Well, we just wrapped up a game between Bath and New Bremen High Schools. Bath came out the winner there, so they'll be moving on in competition, eventually taking on the winner of this game now that we're about to start between Ada and Delta St. John's. Of course, we want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Ada, we have Austin Ambergie, Jacob Colwell, Nathan Hurtig, and Theo Hardesty, and Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, turning now to Delphi St. John's. Playing for Delphi St. John's is Caroline Kopak, Zach Heron, Jania Freewalt, and Noah Hine. And Delphi is coached by Michelle Stiffy and Kim Honigford. All right, everybody ready? All right, let's relax and have a good time with this. We have two rounds before we take a commercial break. Our first round, 10 questions, were 10 points apiece. Make sure you buzz in with your answers. Please speak up as loudly as you can. We have a lot of people playing at home. They wanna know how their answers compare to yours. And we also have a judge here in case we have to refer any questions to him. And also make your answers as complete as possible. Is everybody ready? Okay, question number one. In what southern city is Peachtree Street? Delphus. Atlanta. Atlanta is the correct answer. All right, question number two in your game. How many white keys are on a piano? Yes, Ada. 56. 56, incorrect. Delphi St. John's, you want to try it. My time is up. The answer is 88. All right. Number three, what are foods called that conform to the Jewish dietary regulations? Ada. Kosher. Kosher is correct. From which book? Did the following line come from? It was the best of times. It was, yes, that would be Delphus. A Tale of Two Cities. A Tale of Two Cities is correct. What famous mail delivery service began in 1860 but went out of service 18 months later? Yes, Ada. The Pony Express. The Pony Express is correct. Identify what the lead in lead pencils really is. Yes, Ada. Graphite. Graphite is correct. All right, question number seven in your first round. Name the author of Little Women. Yes, Ada. Louisa May Alcott. That is the correct answer. Okay, you have three questions remaining in this first round of your game. Give the title of the Greek epic poem that begins with the letter I. Yes, Ada. Iliad. 
Iliad is correct. To join this M group, you have to have a very high IQ. Yes, Ada? Mensa. Mensa is correct. All right, final question in your first round. What is the French word for you? Yes, Ada. Two. Two is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our first round between Delphi St. John's and Ada. Here's our score. Ada, you have 70 points. Delphus, you have 20. That means, Ada, you are going to lead this round. Five questions. They're all worth five points apiece. Please buzz in with your answers. All right. Name the 127-year-old, 151-foot-tall lady from New York. Um, it's the Statue of Liberty. What's her oh, name? Oh. Yes. The Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty is correct. Don't buzz. Just say it. Question two, what type of rock is formed from layers of sand and mud that settles at the bottom of bodies of water? Sedimentary. Sedimentary is correct. Question number three, what is a five-line verse with an A-A-B-B-A -B -B -A rhyming scheme? Yes. A limerick? Limerick is correct. All right, how many squares are on a chessboard? 64. Yes. 64. 64 is correct. All right, last question in the second round. What is the former name of Ho Chi Minh City? Yes. Saigon. Saigon is correct. All right. Moving over to Delphi St. John's now for your five questions. These are all yours, okay? Five points each, but please buzz in with your answer. What is observed each June 14th? Yes. Flag day. Flag day is the answer. Name the project that unlocked the mysteries of the atom and introduced the world to the most destructive weapon known to man. Yes. The Manhattan Project? You are correct, the Manhattan Project. All right, question three. In what movie was the song Winter's Waltz? Oh, it's the movie Frozen. All right, two <laughs> questions remain. What is the largest of existing birds? The ostrich. The ostrich is correct. And your final question in the second round. Who was known as Lucky Lindy in the 1920s? Yes. Charles Lindenberg. Charles Lindbergh is the answer. All right, good job. We've come to the end of our first and second rounds. Here is the score. Delphi St. John's, you have 40 points. Ada, 95. We'll be back with our final round of 10 questions right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, in this second game, we have Delphus, St. John's, and Ada High Schools. Here's our score right now, Delphus with 40 points. And Ada, you have 95, but we have one final round to go. This again, a round with 10 questions. With 10 points apiece, up for grabs, get those buzzers ready, and here we go. Name the person that invented the cotton gin. Yes, Ada. Eli Whitney. Eli Whitney is correct. Question number two. Who wrote the first five books of the Old Testament? Yes, Delphus. Moses. Moses is the correct answer. All right, number three. What is Spider-Man's everyday name? Yes, Ada. Peter Parker. Peter Parker is the answer. All right, question number four. 
What U.S. amendment repealed prohibition? Yes, Ada. The 21st. The 21st is correct. Name the author that wrote Of Mice and Men. Yes, Ada. Steinbeck? Could you expand the name, please? John. John Steinbeck. John Steinbeck is correct. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Question number six in our final round. What literary character said, a person's a person no matter how small? Yes, Delphus. Dr. Seuss? That is incorrect. Ada, you've got a chance with this. Yes. Horton the elephant. Horton is correct. All right. Number seven. Name the president that succeeded Franklin Roosevelt. Yes, that would be Ada. Harry Truman. Harry Truman is the answer there. Okay, we have three questions remaining in your game. Who was the principal founder of Microsoft Corporation? Yes, Ada. Bill Gates. Bill Gates is correct. Name the first atomic submarine launched in 1954. Yes, Ada. The Nautilus. Nautilus is correct. All right, here's your last question in this game between Delphi St. John's and Ada. How many colors are there in a rainbow? Yes, Ada. Seven. Seven is the correct answer. All right. We've come to the end of our game, and here is our score. Delphi St. John's, 50 points. Ada. 185. So congratulations. You'll be moving on to take bath in a later game. And Delphus, we want to thank you for joining us once again this year. Thanks for joining us at home. We'll see you back here next week. Until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.